If you are a person who has ever visited this magical place called the internet, chances are you've seen a whole bunch of courses that promise to teach you systems to make a whole lot of money. I've bought a lot of these courses myself. Some of them were excellent, some of them were okay, and some of them not so excellent. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to figure out which ones are good for you. Most people fall into one of two categories. Either they fall for everything and send their life savings to every Nigerian prince who sends them an email, or they think that everything's a scam. Like it doesn't matter what it's about or who created it, it's always a scam. Anything that claims to make you more than $20 an hour, definitely a scam. I want to help you avoid falling into either category because they're both bad. So in this video, I'm going to show you how you can figure out if a course actually works or if it's a scam. Now, full disclosure, I have a course of my own that I sell all about how to become a digital nomad, which is somebody who works from a computer and travels the world, which is what I've been doing for the last three or four, five years. I don't know, I don't even remember the last time I set foot in an office. So if you think that this video is self-serving for me, then fair enough, but at least hear me out. I'm not asking you to trust my opinion, obviously I'm just some guy in the internet, but see if the logic makes sense to you. Now like I said before, most people are either naive dreamers who believe in everything, or they are hardened cynics who just think that everything's a scam. I'm going to show you the middle path. And by the way, I think it's always better to be the naive dreamer rather than the cynic. Because if you're the dreamer, then yeah, you might lose some money, you might get scammed, you might get ripped off, but at least you still have a chance. If you're the cynic who believes that everything is a scam and nothing good could possibly ever happen in their life except for maybe winning the lottery, then you're stuck, right? You've cut yourself off from any possible chance of success. Cynical people love to feel superior to the dreamers. They say, oh yeah, well my life sucks, but at least I'm not stupid like this guy. At least I'm not going to get ripped off like this guy. But the truth is that the cynic will never accomplish anything in life unless he changes his attitude. There are going to be some situations where you can't know everything, you don't have all the information, so I believe that it is better to err on the side of faith rather than the side of doubt. But being the naive dreamer isn't ideal either. In fact, a lot of the people who are hardened cynics now were the people who were naive dreamers in the past who sent off all their money to some Nigerian prince and they got burned and now they think that everything's a scam, everybody's out to get them. So you want to keep yourself from being too naive and being too cynical. Okay, now there are three categories of courses that you might run into. The first is courses that teach you skills. The second is courses that teach you mindsets. And the third is categories that teach you systems. I'm going to tell you what all three of those are and I'm going to tell you how to figure out if they're a good fit for you. Courses that teach you skills are the most straightforward. They just teach you how to do one particular skill. So maybe you take a course in copywriting or a course in chatbots. Courses that teach skills are usually a pretty safe bet if the course creator has credibility. That is, he has managed to get the sort of results that you want to get. And if the skill is still relevant. So maybe you don't want to buy a course on how to do advertising for MySpace or how to own a blockbuster franchise. You get the idea. The second kind of courses are what I call mindset courses. These are courses that help you get your mindset right, or they help you have the right beliefs, they help you develop the right habits, etc., that you need to be successful. If you've ever been an entrepreneur before, probably you know that 90% of the battle is within your own mind. You're fighting off your feelings of self-doubt, and you're fighting off your, your limiting beliefs, you're, you're thinking that this is impossible. A lot of people turn up their noses at mindset because it's kind of fluffy. They think they can just skip that part, but but it is absolutely critical. It's foundational to everything else. This is what some people call self-help, and it's funny because the, the image has become so negative now that all of these self-help books and these self-help courses are mocking self-help and talking about how they are not self-help. I saw a lot of that, I thought it was kind of funny, so I decided to make a video making fun of it here if you want to take a look. Anyway, my opinion is that mindset is definitely worth investing in. I definitely invest in it a lot myself, and I talk about it a lot on my channel if you want to check out some of my other videos. And with the mindset courses, same as with the skill courses, the biggest thing is the credibility of the author. If the author is somebody that you know and trust, then probably the course is good. Or if you listen to some free content from the author and he knows what he's talking about and his free content is helpful, then probably the course is good too. Okay, now the last category of courses are these systems courses. This is the most complicated, so I'm going to spend the most time talking about these. A systems course is a course that claims to be able to teach you some system that you can use to make money. 
or it could be something else, a system for how to lose weight or how to find your ideal lover. It could be anything. But I'm going to talk specifically about systems for making money. Now there's a million ways to make money and these courses claim to teach you one of those ways. Now before I refer to these courses as either being actually working or being scams because that's the way that most people think. Most people think that either it's a magical formula for wealth or it's just a way to rip them off and steal their money. But the truth is that usually it's not either extreme and I'll explain what I mean by that. Most of these systems from what I've seen are something that legitimately worked for some person at some point in time. But So they're not scams because they have legitimately worked, but just because they worked for somebody at some point in time does not necessarily mean that they will work for you at this point in time. The truth is that even the very best system probably is not going to make you money right out of the box and there's three reasons for that. It could be that you don't have the right skills or that you don't have the right mindset or just that times have changed or it could be some combination of those three. Now just because one or more of these things may be true doesn't mean necessarily that you shouldn't take the course. It may be really valuable and make you a ton of money. I'm just saying that you may have to do some tweaking and some filling in and some adapting to the times. Just because it's not a magic formula doesn't mean that it might not be extremely valuable. Now every system always assumes that you have specific skills, right? They can't predict everything, they don't know you, right? they don't know what skills you have and what skills you don't. So maybe the system requires that you have computer skills, or maybe you have to have copywriting skills, or maybe you know how to record videos. So for example, you could buy a system and you could follow the whole system 100% perfectly, but because your copywriting sucks, nobody wants to buy your product and you don't make any money. And maybe the guy that created the course is an excellent copywriter, so he didn't even really think about the fact that maybe you're not such a great copywriter. So it works for him because he already knows the skills, he already knows how to write copy, but he didn't realize that you might not know so well as he does. And that would be pretty frustrating, right? Because here you were all excited about this system that you thought was a magic formula and it doesn't work, it's not making you money. But if you don't get discouraged, then you can go find a course on copywriting, fill in the missing piece to make it work. And this is where those skills courses that I mentioned earlier come in handy to fill the holes in your skill set that you need to make the systems work. Okay, now the second reason that a system might not work for you is because your mindset is wrong. For example, if you try a new system and think that it's going to be easy and expect to make a boatload of cash on your first try, then probably you're going to be disappointed and probably you're going to struggle. I found that courses are just about always marketed as being easier and being faster to implement than they actually are. Doesn't mean that the course is a scam, but yes, the marketing does tend to over deliver because that's what sells. Everybody wants the magic pill. Everyone wants the easy formula for success. But be aware when you buy just about anything that it's probably not quite as easy as the marketing makes it seem like it is. And there's a million other mindset problems you could have too. For example, if you expect to fail, a lot of people are in that boat, right? They expect to fail at everything they do in life. And so they do. Their expectation becomes their reality. Because if you already believe that you're going to fail, well, are you really going to put in your full effort? Probably not. Or if you think that your marketing is annoying people, then you're probably not going to do it very well because you're not going to put in a whole lot of effort into something that you see as a bad thing. Same thing for all the people that have been brainwashed to believe that rich people are evil. If you believe that rich people are evil, how much effort are you going to put into trying to be rich? Again, probably not very much. Or if you have imposter syndrome, maybe you feel like an imposter. What that means is that you don't even trust yourself. So if you don't even trust yourself, how is anybody else going to trust you? Anyway, it's absolutely vital to get your mindset right if you want to succeed at any system. And that's where the mindset courses come in. Okay, now the third reason that your system might not work right away is that times have changed. The world is changing really fast. What worked yesterday might not work tomorrow. Or what's more often the case is that what worked yesterday is going to need a little bit of tweaking in order to work tomorrow. It's not going to work right out of the box. And there's a whole bunch of things that change over time that might affect your results. I'll give you a few examples. By the way, if you're finding this video helpful, please do me a favor, hit the thumbs up button. And if you want more content like this in the future, make sure you hit subscribe, hit the little bell icon beside the subscribe button so you don't miss anything. And if you think this would be beneficial to somebody you know, then please share this video also. One thing that changes is social trends. If people see the same thing too much, they get tired of it. Remember how I talked about how self-help and gurus are kind of 
out of style right now. Everybody loves to hate on self-help and gurus, and if you're a self-help guru, then God help you because you're not gonna do very well. Some of you guys that have been following me for a while might remember that I first called my channel Social Marketing Guru, which was kind of a joke. I started it as something else and I bought the Social Marketing Guru domain. I had this idea of having a picture of me in the, that like hippie meditation position, using the term in sort of a tongue-in-cheek way, but nobody really got that. And I even had one guy email me saying that he was gonna buy my course, but then he saw the word guru and decided not to because he doesn't like that word. So lesson learned, be very aware of the trends that are changing. What worked yesterday might not work tomorrow. Another thing that changes with the times is technology. For example, now you can't do pop-up ads anymore, thank God, <laughs> because now all the browsers have pop-up blockers. And the algorithms change over time too. There are a whole bunch of ways to get traffic from Facebook or from Google SEO or from YouTube years ago that don't really work anymore because they worked for the old algorithms, but they don't work anymore in the new algorithms. We're even seeing this with email now because Gmail, which is the most popular email provider, is now dumping all of your promotional emails into a promotional folder that's separate from the main folder. So people are not seeing the emails very much anymore. So email marketing is a lot less effective than it was in the past. And the rules and the laws and the regulations are changing over time too. If you think about Facebook advertising a few years ago, for example, they used to have awesome targeting options, but then somebody in the government decided that too much ad targeting was bad, so they, they put pressure on Facebook to remove the targeting options. So they're constantly getting rid of targeting options. So if you had a business that relied on those targeting options and then Facebook changed the rules, well, now you're kind of stuck. Same is true with all these banned categories, right? Like Facebook decided that they would ban advertising for cryptocurrency companies. So. If you had a system that was selling something to do with cryptocurrency and it relied on Facebook ads, well, now you're stuck because they're not allowed anymore. Another example is this drop shipping craze. Probably you've seen courses for how to make money doing drop shipping, and these drop shipping courses rely on the fact that the Chinese government is subsidizing, that is that they are they are helping to pay for shipping for products from China to other countries. So you can get a product shipped from China super cheap and then sell it at a markup and make some money. Well, if the Chinese government at some point in the future decides to stop doing that, to stop paying for the shipping, then that whole business is gonna be very difficult. Now, I'm not trying to scare you away from buying courses. I'm just saying that times change and you need to be aware of that and you need to be able to adapt. And that means three things when you're considering a systems course. Number one is the newer the course, or the more recent the results from the course, the better. So try to figure out, did the author have success recently? Are there testimonials or success stories from students who had success recently? The more recently that it worked for somebody else, the more likely it will work for you with less amount of tweaking. The second thing to ask yourself is what does the future look like for this system? For example, a course about how to make money on YouTube might make more sense than a course about email marketing because YouTube is increasing while email is declining. And then the last thing that you wanna ask is, is this a flash in the pan strategy or is it something that will work for years to come? For example, I recently saw a course about how to do marketing for businesses by basically sending a whole bunch of DMs on Instagram. Basically, you'd be getting free advertising because sending a DM is free and you could get paid a lot of money by businesses. It's a pretty cool idea, but what's the future of it? Well, I already know that Facebook is limiting the amount of messages that you can send to people. So, since Facebook owns Instagram, probably it's only a matter of time before Instagram starts doing the same thing. They start limiting the amount of messages that you can send. So this is a strategy that probably won't work for very long. And that doesn't mean that it's not worthwhile. I mean, the course cost $1,000. So if you could buy the course for $1,000 and then make, say, $50,000 implementing it, well, you paid $1,000 to make $50,000. Still a pretty good deal. You just wanna make sure that you recognize the risk. It depends on when this rule change occurs. If it occurs a year from now, then probably you could make some pretty good money. If it occurs next week, then you're probably out $1,000. So those are the things that you should be aware of when you're deciding whether to buy a course or not. And this applies just as much to a system that you might have found on a book or a YouTube video or a blog. Because even though it's cheap or free, so you can't really get scammed, you still don't wanna spend your time and effort on a system that's not gonna work. 
So recognize that almost nothing works 100%. Almost nothing is going to make you money right out of the box. It's not a magic formula. It's going to require some tweaking. It's going to require some filling in the holes in your mindset or the skill set that you have. And it's probably going to be slower and it's probably going to take more effort than whatever the marketing says that it will. But these considerations should keep you in the middle of the road to success, so you're not getting stuck in the naive dreamer ditch on one side of the road or the hardened cynic ditch on the other side of the road. Now, if you want to practice what I just explained in this video, I recommend you either check out my Digital Nomad University course, which I will put a link to in the description below, or check out this video, which I created a few months ago to show you a system that you can use to make money on YouTube without creating any videos, and see how that fits with what you just learned in this video. And of course, don't forget to subscribe.